From the Cambridge News Desk at 7. The Queen will open the new base of East Anglian Air Ambulance at Cambridge Airport later. Her grandson, Prince William, works with the charity as a helicopter pilot. Her Majesty will then travel to Buckingham Palace where David Cameron will formally offer his resignation as Prime Minister. That's the latest. It's four and a half minutes past seven. As we all know, the US presidential election is fast approaching and we want to know a bit more about what people of Cambridge think is going to happen on this November 8th. I am in central Cambridge now, ready to find out who the people of Cambridge think will win the US election and why. I am now with Patrick Morris. He's one of the Menagerie's artistic directors. It's an honour to be with Patrick here today. And it's a busy day for you, Patrick, today. So That's right. Can you tell us a bit more of what, what's going on and what's your participation in this year's editions of Hot Bit Festival? Yeah, sure. I am at the Department of Air Sciences on Downing Street, Cambridge, about to speak to Simon Conway Morris, Professor of Evolutionary Paleobiology at Cambridge and Fellow of St. John's College. I'm here with Charlotte Handford and Barbara Nesto. Charlotte is the Cambridge Coordinator and Barbara Nesto is a participating artist for this year's edition of Pint of Science and Creative Reactions. <laughs> And the weather for Cambridge? Warm, sunny spells are expected, but with the risk of further isolated showers later. A fresh northwesterly breeze also developing. Maximum temperature 20 degrees Celsius. 105 Breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. It is Saturday afternoon in Cambridge, and I'm here at the Selwyn College, where the members of the Tiddlywinks Club are playing the Cambridge Tiddlywinks Open which happens at the start of each Lent term, coinciding with the club dinner which will be held tonight. Let's see what the players have to say. So my name is... Do you mind if I have a go? Yeah, do, do have a go. Would that be okay? Yeah. I've never done this no, ever in right. my life. Oh, I just that missed was it. That very good. How was it? Yeah. I'm oh my God. Very close to going. Ah, I need to put more angle in. Yay! Pop it! Thank you, Tim! This year, Cambridge Open Studios will involve over 300 artists covering several disciplines. And I'm here with one of the artists. I'm today with Sasha Garrett. Good afternoon. I'm here at the Cambridge University Sports Centre because today the Eastern Blue Stars, which is the only women's wheelchair basketball club in East Anglia, have organised their annual open fundraising event. Very pleased to welcome Rosina Piovani. Is that right? Well done, yes. Yeah, I've been in rehearsals for days <laughs> on that one. <laughs> Coming up to eight minutes past seven, our first record was Boy Meets Girl, Waiting for a Star to Fall, followed by the Stereophonics, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Another thing that's happening this week is One Man, Two Governors, this play that is on at the ADC Theatre, based on a classic Italian comedy, The Servant of Two Masters by Carlo Goldoni, is this new English version. So just say that name again. Carlo Goldoni. That's how you say it if anyone's listening. <laughs> And that was Seo Georgie with his version of Rebel Rebel by David Bowie. 